Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm still in one piece. Randall Hicks, former time slave. At this moment, interdimensional stowaway. And from now on, time space castaway. What? Everything has a before and an after. Everything has a beginning and an end. Our story, just like many other things, ends right where it began. Excuse me, what day is it today? Today is the day you'll be given a second chance. That chance you have longed and fought for for so long. The place, a bar. The day, Sunday. The time, a little bit earlier than when this story began. Wow, you obviously know what you're talking about. Who are you supposed to be? No one important. A mere stagehand in the shadows. Someone who feels more comfortable behind the scenes. A dramatist that spends his days at the keyboard. I'm the narrator, but you can call me Rod if you like. You know, Rod, you remind me of this homeless guy who used to stalk me for a while. He was into that mystical thing too, but things went sour between us. Although, actually, between you and me, I don't know if it's the suit or the cigar, but there's really no comparing you two. You're much more the classical elegant type. Totally. Thank you, Randall Hicks. Now go on with your quest. And here, take this. It'll be useful no matter where you go. What to give me? What to give me? Great invention. Okay, we have a fake mustache. Okay, never mind. Okay, there's my other self. I think it'd be best if he doesn't recognize me. I think the most sensible thing now is to talk to myself. However weird that sounds. Good evening, sir. I'd like to ask you some questions if you wouldn't mind. Oi! What do you think you're doing? I, uh, I just wanted to convince my other self that keeping Matt's ring is a terrible idea, and, uh... You can't do that. You'll have to find another way. Talking to yourself is not an option, okay? You could totally destabilize the space-time continuum. It's just too risky. One false move and boom! China's gone. Yeah, that already happened back in 54, remember? Yes, I do remember. And do you remember the absolute hell we went through to fix that disaster? That's why we can't let anything like that happen again. But... But nothing, kid. You can't interact with yourself. You'll have to find another way to get rid of your doppelganger. And you know, if I were you, I'd definitely keep the stash on. He's right. Just try to pass yourself off as someone else. Two Randalls in the same place could arouse suspicion. Fine. Okay, so... Because this could go really, really bad. So let's try talking to you. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Excuse me? Do I know you? Well, uh... Uh... Why not? I've seen you in my dreams. I, I don't think so. I tend to stay away from places that disgust me. That was cruel, but it was a good comeback. I'll give you that. Thank you. Are you going to order? Or are you just going to stare at my breasts? Oh, excuse me. But uh, I think it was your breasts that were staring at me. Yeah, good one. So, call me suspicious if you like, but uh, you've got that just out of jail look about you. What? No way. Sure. Well, if you want a drink, take out your wallet and show me the cash. My wallet? Hmm. I knew it. Does this look like some kind of welfare office to you? Well, no. 
Because if it were, there'd be a lot more kids. I am. Um... Please accept my apologies for my behavior. I am ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. So now you're gonna try the sensitive guy routine, right? No, no, not at all. I honestly wanted to apologize. I went a little too far before. Okay, I accept your apologies. Now leave me alone. I have better things to do. Of course. I know it's none of my business, but that guy's saying stuff about you. Who? That, uh, dick at the bar. Randall? And what did he say exactly? Well... Um... So, I said your bodies of one blood and he's been on dinner. Said you guys have secret relationship. He said you go wild when he nibbles at your ear. He said what? Yeah, um, I didn't ask him for details because I'm not a perv, but who knows what else he might be saying about you. Excuse me. What's your problem, Randall? Hey, what did I do? I know about the stuff you've been saying. What? That Sharknado is not as bad as people are making it out to be? Look, you've done some terrible things since I've known you, and I've always looked the other way, but this time you crossed the line, Randall. I don't know what you're talking about. What did I do? Why do you go around telling people I'm your girlfriend? What? You heard me. I just found out and it's not funny. Are you trying to get barred for life or what? Oh, I don't know where you heard that, but I stopped telling people you and I were together since that time you gave me some free liquor and it turned out to be battery acid. I got the message, believe me. I hope you're not lying to me. Elaine, I swear. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. Okay, fine. Huh. Eh, by his looks, I'd say he's the roadie of some cheesy band. Nah, I wouldn't know what to say. Okay. What's up, father? You're such a blast. Do you know that? Okay, so I thought we could do something with that. We can't. Excuse me. Can I have a beer, please? Well, oh, here we go again. Do you have any money? Well, um, hmm. No money, no booze. That's how bars work. Now, out. I think I'm gonna take off. Bye, beautiful. Okay, bye-bye. We've got him turned the other way. Ooh. What's wrong, Charlie? Did you just find out that Alf was actually a midget in a costume or what? Who the hell are you? Leave me alone. What's wrong with you? Don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal, Randall. And why the hell are you dressed up like that? You look like Joachim Phoenix in her. Anyway, never mind. This is serious, okay? I'm so drunk and furious, I might just lose it. Easy, dude. I'm just worried about you. What happened? Those Wonder Comics bastards. They've canceled Captain Red after 35 years. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. He's the best superhero we have. Well, I don't know. I always thought he was kind of lame. What? I never bought the way he got his powers. A radioactive barrel in a paintball war? I mean, come on. However, I really like that Moose Guy era. You know, that guy who shot chocolate moose out of his hands? Moose Man, right? Oh, oh he rocked. Yeah, that was a great era. Some of Mr. Miller's finest work. Phew. If I get hold of the guy responsible for this, I am going to slowly choke the life out of him with my own bare hands. Well, you fans are to blame. I mean, come on. None of you stuck with Captain Red. Those are not his real fans. Those guys just started following him when the movie came out a couple of years ago. But now, it's not the new thing. They don't like Captain Red anymore. I hate those vermin. 
That's just life, Charlie. There's a beginning and an end for everything. Oh, bullshit. There are shows that have been on air for more than 70 years. Yeah, the good ones. People die every day, Randall. Sure, tell Matt about it. Are you planning on doing something crazy tonight? What does Randall Hicks understand by crazy? Burning down an orphanage? Blowing up a blimp? Hey, the blimp thing was Matt's idea. Besides, they had it coming. That blimp had been provoking us for hours. Anyway, I'd like to be alone with my gut-wrenching agony. So if you don't mind... Why don't you just contact the guys at Wonder Comics? You had a lot of great ideas for new storylines, didn't you? <laughs> ha! You think I haven't tried that already? I've been sharing my ideas with them for years now, and they haven't used a single one! Oh, really? What about the one where the guys kidnapped Captain Red and perform a sex change operation on him against his will? I remember you told me that story when we were in college, and it was just fascinating. Yeah, I got a letter from the editor saying that the script was not entirely in the spirit of Captain Red. Too much full frontal nudity, they said. Can you believe that? I mean, Captain Red is an adult comic book which tackles some grown-up issues. It's not a Garfield comic strip. Well, it's their loss. Totally. Well, I'll leave you to your misery. Wise choice, believe me. I'm dangerous tonight. That sounded a little, uh, you know. Get out! Okay. Done. Yep. Yep. Okay. 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 Excuse me. Can I have a beer, please? I told you. No money, no booze. Uh, actually, I just happened to find my wallet. Okay, a beer then. Yeah, that's right. But it's for that gentleman at the bar. Randall? Yes, uh, I confused him for someone else when I told you he was talking about you. This is my way of saying I'm sorry. Could you get him a large one, please? Whatever. It's your money. For me? Courtesy of that guy in the fake mustache. Hey, I never say no to a free beer. I just hope he doesn't want anything in return, if you know what I mean. Great, I got rid of him. Now I just have to take his place and wait for Matt and Sally. I have to do everything I can to change the past. Step one, stop Matt from getting drunk. Step two, get a date with Elaine. Step three. Hey, you, what are you up to? Me? Uh, nothing, nothing. You suck at lying, pal. Do you think I would just look right into those beautiful, beautiful eyes and lie to you? There's no way I could do that. Oh, really? Well, my eyes are like eight inches north of where you're looking. Uh, I'm sorry. I just can't help it. <sighs> Damn, he's back already. I gotta find a way to keep him in the bathroom for a little bit longer. 
Okay. Uh huh. Uh, right again. Okay. Yes, truly. Okay. Excuse me, Elaine. Uh, send that. Sure. Right. <laughs> so we follow him up. Sorry to bother you again, Charlie. Did you know there was an editor from Wonder Comics using the urinal as we speak? Uh oh. Are you kidding me? That's not funny, you know. Dude, I'm serious. He came in and he said, fuck Captain Red, and then he started taking a leak. You mean the editor in chief? Are you talking about Connor McCarthy? The very same. He came in and he said, fuck Captain Red, and then he said, I'm Connor McCarthy. I I can't believe he has the nerve to show his face around here after what he did. I think you should get rid of him. You know, pound the guy senseless or something. He didn't look like much. You could totally take him. I I'm gonna kill that bastard. What? I'll kill him. No, no, I, I, I don't think that'll be necessary. All you have to do is scare him a little. Come on, man. That, that that's a little extreme. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Uh. Die. Uh. Uh. I... Uh. Die. Ah! 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 Die! Ah! What the? Oh, here. Okay, that was way too grotesque. Mental note, don't ever piss off Charlie again. That guy's a damn psycho. Let's move on from this crime scene. No way. She Uh-huh. Have we got to talk to Charlie? I better not. Okay. My wallet. So then what do you do? Really? They... Okay. Hey, you can barely notice the slashes or the blood. Cool. Okay. Randall, we're here! Ah, right on time. And we're ready to drink till we can't hold it anymore. Sure, hon. Hey, Sally. Hi, Randall. You're not planning to do anything stupid tonight, are you? Well, you know me. I like stupid stuff. Who doesn't? Come on, take a seat. There's a nice cool beer waiting for you. Well, here we are again. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Hey, what's wrong? I'm sensing some tension in the air. What are you talking about? Come on, just go and get another beer. You're not going to make a toast with an empty glass, are you? Seems like you can't wait for Matt to start drinking, Sally. What's that all about? What? 
can a girl want her fiance to have a great time at his wedding shower? Sure. What's the problem, man? Well, now that you mention it. Oh, that's right. Honey, ask for a double malt beer. Good idea. No. No? Randall Hicks is saying no to alcohol? Who are you, and what have you done with the real Randall? Oh, it's just, um, you know, we've been drinking a lot lately. We, we, we should try and ease up a little. This is unbelievable. You drink every day for no reason at all, and precisely today you're not going to when we have a lot to celebrate? Dude, you're my best friend. That's why you're here. But we're not going teetotal on the day of my wedding party, are we? Ah, that's my leg. Of course not, honey. Don't worry. Go get a beer. I'll stay here with Randall. All right. I'll be back in a sec. Try not to kill each other. Yeah, very funny, hun. You damn piece of trash. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Saving the fucking world. That's what I'm doing. Can't you see that it's useless? The world has been doomed since the dawn of time. The only difference is that this time, and thanks to you, I'm gonna be the queen of the underworld, and you're not gonna screw it up for me, do you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear, but you know what? You picked on the wrong guy. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. Tell me, tough guy, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, I am gonna make you regret the very day you ever met me, and believe me when I tell you, I'm very good at that. Oh, really? And how exactly are you gonna do that? I don't know yet, but I know one thing. I am going to fuck you over. You have no idea who you are dealing with, fuckface. Behave, and don't do anything stupid. I'm warning you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay. Hey, guys, I'm back! Here's an idea. Why don't we start drinking enormous amounts of alcohol to celebrate the fact that soon 66.6% .6 of the people at this table will be a happily married couple? Is there any better way to celebrate anything? Oh, I knew I was marrying you for a reason. So, Randall, how are things between you and your roommate? Oh, yeah. Has he come out of his room yet or what? Nah, he's been holed up in there for months now. I don't even think I remember what his face looks like anymore. Ew, he doesn't even come out to go to the bathroom? No, I'd imagine that's what all the buckets are for. I bet he's dead. Nah, he uses growls to commute. Wait a second. I've been here already. I gotta do something and quick. What's that, buddy? Well, uh, now that you mention it, your girlfriend is a fucking demon who wants to destroy the world! Hey! Dude, what the fuck are you saying? Reveal yourself, you evil whore! Wow, I sure wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> um, uh, you guys did this, didn't you? What in heaven's name are you doing? I, I was just improvising, you know. Well, you fucked up real nice. What were you thinking when you called her an evil whore? That's your best friend's bride-to-be! Ah, he'll never forgive me for the robo-calculator incident, will he? We were just kids! What does that have to do with anything? She's his fiancée! Don't you think you went a little too far calling her that? You even threw your beer at her! Who did you think she was? The Wicked Witch of the West? Well, uh, now that I think of it, it sounded way better in my head. The only thing you had to do was convince your friend not to get drunk today. Was that so hard? Oh boy, you obviously don't know Matt. Anyway, we can't just leave things like this. Really? You guys are gonna help me again? Well, we just have to rewind the conversation a little. But please, try not to fuck up this time. Okay, yes sir. So, uh, what do I have to do to rewind the conversation? Uh, famine will tell you what you need to do. Okay. Um, uh, I, uh... Is 
this supposed to be a puzzle or something? What are you talking about? Just do what he said. But, um... But what? Come on, stop wasting our time! Oh, don't be such a silly goose. We're just pulling your leg here. If you really think those noises make any sense, the idiot doesn't even have a jaw. But nobody understands him. Not even us. <laughs> but it's pretty funny to pretend we do. <laughs> it's a great way to fuck with people. All right, that's quite enough. We're sending you back to the beginning. Do try not to bugger everything up again, won't you? I'll try. Hey, behave, and don't do anything stupid. I'm warning you. Yeah, we'll see about that. No mouse. Hey, guys, I'm back! Here's an idea. Why don't we start drinking enormous amounts of alcohol to celebrate the fact that soon 66.6% .6 of the people at this table will be a happily married couple? Is there any better way to celebrate anything? Oh, I knew I was marrying you for a reason. So, Randall, how are things between you and your roommate? Oh, yeah. Has he come out of his room yet or what? Nah, he's been holed up in there for months now. I don't even think I remember what his face looks like anymore. Ew, he doesn't even come out to go to the bathroom? No, I'd imagine that's what all the buckets are for. I bet he's dead. Nah, he uses growls to commute. Wait a second. I've been here already. I gotta do something and quick. What's that, buddy? Well, uh, now that you mention it... <sighs> uh... Which one? Hey, do you remember those times we could have fun without drinking? Hey, do you remember those times when we could have fun without drinking? Uh, not really. When was that? Well, uh, you know, when we were kids. Very young kids, because you guys started hitting the bottle, like, really, really early. Whatever, but at least we had our health back then. Randall, you can't be serious about that. You once put super glue in Matt's eye drops, and you almost blinded him. So you're one to start talking about health. Well, just for the record, the drops thing was in self-defense. He's right, I kind of had it coming. Okay. Aren't we a little too old to be drinking till we pass out? A little old. Okay, so what? Should we be going to the park to feed the ducks in the pond? Ha! I'd love to see you guys doing that. I'm just saying that drinking with no kind of self-control is dangerous. I remember once I woke up in a boat headed to Samoa, and I still have no idea what happened. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know, I think I traded you for some fresh fruit or something like that. <laughs> and I'm sure you had a very good reason to do it, pal. But I feel like we should grow up a little and start being responsible for our actions. Don't you agree? Are you sure you're really Randall? Dude, I'm serious. We are grown-ups now, especially you. You might even give life to a baby, Matt, soon. Dude, I'm serious. We're grown-ups now, especially you. You might even give life to a baby, Matt, soon. Don't bring up that topic. We're having so much trouble picking a name. Seriously? What options do you have? Please, let's just talk about something. If it's a girl, Leia or Wonder Woman, and if it's a boy, Whoa, 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 hold it. Did you say Wonder Woman? Sure, why not? It was either that or She-Hulk. But you know, I just think that She-Hulk is kind of lame and Sally refuses to call her Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Because it doesn't make any sense. Matt, do you really want our daughter's middle name to be the Vampire Slayer? Sally, we already had this argument and you won. Both She-Hulk and Buffy the Vampire Slayer are off the table, so relax. Well, add Wonder Woman to that list as well. Then, I want Silk Spectre back in the game. Matt, just take a second to think about it. Do you really see yourself pushing your daughter on the swings and calling her Silk Spectre? Seriously. You're right. Calling her Spectre is not very feminine. But we still have Leia. Come on, you can't deny that Leia is a beautiful name. Well, it's the least ugly name you've suggested so far, that's true. Okay, and uh, if it's a boy? Oh, well, I love the name Scott. We could call him Scotty. Are you crazy? 
No son of mine will have Cyclops' human name. Oh, sure, because calling him the Swamp Thing is a much better idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, have you been reading my diary? Huh, looks like things are kind of heating up. Hold on. Is that what this is? Are you trying to make us fight? What? I just wanted to know about your kids' names, that's all. Yeah, because you know we're having so much trouble finding names we both like. Oh, come on, Sally. I was just curious about it. If someone heard you right now, they would think you and I were secretly fighting over Matt's attention. And that's just crazy, isn't it? Of course it is. Besides, I'm Matt's bride-to-be. I think I can do certain things for him that you can't. Yeah, dirty things. Uh, I see. I think I won this battle. What? I said, let's just enjoy the night. Who wants some booze? Oh, you just read my mind, sweetie. Yeah. Hey, uh, who's up for some go-karts? Ooh! Hey, guys, you know, I just thought we'd be doing something a little more romantic to celebrate our engagement. You know what would be really romantic? Coming from you? I don't want to know. I really like Randall's idea. Okay, that's it. Nobody's going go-karting, okay? This is not the goddamn moment. Come on, we don't even throw turtle shells at each other anymore. I'm talking about a legit race here. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean no banana skins either? Will you shut up? We are not going go-karting, okay? Well, Matt, I think now you have a better idea what the married man's life is like. Mm. Matt, for your own good, don't you answer that. Okay, everybody, relax. I love go-karts, okay? But I'm also looking forward to getting married. You know, growing a big mustache, waking up to go to the bathroom every hour at night, drinking black coffee, and of course, taking my kids to the go-karts. I've thought this through, okay? Okay, then we'll have plenty of time to go to the go-karts when we have kids, okay? But uh, what if we just, uh... Will you just shut up, Randall? You're confusing my fiance. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna let you keep manipulating him like this, you hear me? Manipulating him? Yeah, you're one to talk, Scarlett O'Hara. Are you calling me a racist? Dude, don't call her a racist. What? I didn't call her a racist. I just meant she enjoys manipulating men like Scarlett O'Hara. That's enough! I'm a good person. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Oh, come on, you're not even a real person. Dude, where the hell did that come from? You mean, where the hell did she come from? She's just using you, Matt. Can you not see that? She's an evil being from the underworld that wants to destroy civilization. I... I think I'm just gonna go. No, 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 honey, honey. The only one who's leaving here is Randall. Dude, I never thought you'd do something like this. I thought you were my friend. But if you're gonna start talking shit about my girlfriend, then I'm afraid this is over. But, Matt, I just want you to see. Enough, Randall. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you today, but you've been trying to provoke Sally all night. And what about her? Don't you see what she's doing to me? Randall, out! Oh, come on! You buggered it up again, didn't you? Yeah! He screwed up big time! Do you really think you're going to convince your friend to stay sober by picking on his girl? Well, no! It's just that damn shrew anticipates my every move. I just can't think of a legit reason to stop him from drinking. He's mad, goddammit. Drinking is like a basic need for him, like sleeping. He needs to drink in order to live. I'm sure of it. Well, you've really fucked up now. He hates your guts and doesn't want anything to do with you. Oh, I know. Okay, just try again. But this time, think of something clever. We don't have all day, you know. Well said. Hey, behave and don't do anything stupid. I'm warning you. Yeah, we'll see about that. And we're back again. Hey, guys, I'm back. Here's an idea. Why don't we start drinking enormous amounts of alcohol to celebrate the fact that soon 66.6% .6 of the people at this table will be a happily married couple? Is there any better way to celebrate any? Oh, I so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I bet. Uh, what's that? Well. Okay. 
got one option left. So, Sally, I'm dying to know. What have you been up to lately? Well, um, you know. Uh, uh actually, no, I don't. Well, I... Uh, I've been kind of busy planning the wedding, uh, you know? Of course. What's going on here? You're acting kind of weird. Nothing! Randall was just asking me about, uh, you know, the wedding. Yeah, but what's with all the pauses? Yeah, what's with all the pauses, Sally? You're not possessed by some evil spirit or something, are you? No, Randall, you're so funny. I am funny, aren't I? You know, I was thinking of becoming a professional comedian or something. Really? Well, you know, we will support you no matter what. But uh, I think you should remember that uh, not everybody shares your sense of humor, you know? Well, keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> honey, you're doing it again? What? Those weird pauses. Oh, you know, it's just that talking about Randall is so dull, don't you think? <laughs> hey. Sorry, but it's true. Let's go get another round, okay? See, that sounds way better. Uh-oh. All right, all right. I've got one. I got one. Would you rather spend the night in a haunted mansion where no one has ever gotten out alive or spend a day in Pee-wee's playhouse while Pee-wee is fucked up on crack? The mansion! No, oh, Pee-wee! No, no, no! The mansion. Ah, oh, god damn it, both of them are equally terrifying. Question, is there any chance Pee-wee could slip me some of that shit he's on? Nope, he smoked it all. Then I'd rather die at the mansion. That reminds me of our last vacation. Oh, come on, Sally, it was super romantic. No, oh, yeah, you and your sense of romance. Everybody run for your life. Hey, everybody knows Matt can be really romantic when he wants to be. Everybody? How come I don't then? Aw, oh, come on, Sally. I tell you I love you almost every day. I'm super romantic. Yeah, sure. Do you mean when you belch it or when you say it in binary code? No, he means when he belches it in binary code. Wait it, hold on. This sounds oddly familiar. Damn it, I'm doing it again. I need to change the subject and soon. What are you muttering? Oh, it's uh, just that... Um, I'm gonna take a guess. Wedding. So tell me more about the wedding menu. You know, all I want is a free bar. Of course there'll be a free bar, honey. A free bar? Are you sure about that? Yeah, dude! What better way of proving our love before the eyes of the Lord? I don't know, man. It sounds like alcohol is the only thing you think about. A am I wrong here? Randall, it's our wedding. Matt just wants to have a good time, and I want to make sure he drinks as much as he likes. Sure. As long as he makes it to the wedding. What do you mean? Yeah, Randall. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. I, I just meant to say that if you happen to overdo it tonight, you might not even live to see your wedding. Remember the time you jumped out of a moving car? You're right. And it really hurt. There's still part of my back where the skin hasn't grown back yet. I think I'm gonna follow your advice, man. What? Yeah, you know. I think it'll be best if we take it easy tonight, babe. You know, just a couple of drinks and some good conversation. Are you kidding me? You guys being civilized? Sally, I, I know this might sound a little like sci-fi, but um, I'm willing to not drink any more alcohol for the rest of the night. You with me, man? Yeah. You know what? Enough. This is just bullshit. I spent days planning this party, and I just wanted everything to be perfect. I even asked Elaine to buy two barrels of the best German lager she could find, just so you guys could enjoy this night your way. And now you're giving me all this shit? God, I knew I shouldn't have bothered. Sally, I... I didn't know you'd gone to so much trouble. Well, that's because it was going to be a surprise. But you know what? It doesn't matter anymore. Hey, babe. Well, she said it doesn't matter, so... Dude, she just went to a lot of trouble to get us some premium quality beer. We're not going to disappoint her, are we? Huh, I guess not. Atta boys, you're just going to love it. Um...
So, uh, say, guys, would you like to go to my place and watch a movie? Hey, what's wrong with you, man? It's like you don't want to be here. No, it's not that. I just uh, thought... We don't want to make you feel awkward. If you're not comfortable here, you can go. I I'm not feeling awkward or anything. It's just that I, I thought... I don't want you to leave, buddy. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. I just said that thing about the movie because I thought you might feel like one of our movie nights. But, um, never mind. We can go to that hovel you call home any other time. Today's our special day, and we're not moving from here. You're the boss, babe. That's right. I'm the boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you think you've had enough for today, Matt? What are you talking about? We were just saying he should try and beat his own record. Oh, Matt sure does love the sound of that. Yeah, but, uh, didn't you say the other day that you were going to ease up on trying to beat all those stupid records? You know, things like drinking more than 500 ounces of beer in one sitting, making the biggest puke omelet in the world, watching all four Twilight movies with no sharpened weapons. I mean, come on. Where is it all going to stop? Who cares? I love Matt just the way he is. If he feels like doing a five-day Nicolas Cage marathon or he wants to drink the bar dry, just let him do it, okay? You know... I think Randall's right, sweetheart. Now that we're gonna get married, I think I should start taking things a little more seriously. Exactly. You're gonna have more responsibilities now. But that's not the Matt I fell in love with. Of course not. The Matt you fell in love with was a total moron. And honey, now that I'm growing up, I totally understand why you get angry at me sometimes. But let me promise you this. From now on, I'm gonna be a new man. I'm gonna be the kind of man you deserve. But... Come on, that's what you always wanted. Matt is finally growing up. I just wanna have some fun tonight. And we will, honey. But I'm just gonna try to slow down the alcohol, okay? In fact, you know what? I might not even throw up at all tonight. And that would be a whole new experience for me. a boy, Matt. And you know what? I'm signing up, too. I'm just one sip away from having to make a strategical break for the alley. Sure, babe. You look fine to me. Are you sure, girl? Look at his eyes. They're looking in two different directions at the same time. Cool. I just love it when he does that. What? Don't worry about me, honey. Drink as much as you want. I'm okay. Damn it. That means he's just about to throw up. No, man, I'm serious. No throwing up today, for reals. You're shitting me. Listen to me, babe. We're gonna be husband and wife in, like, really soon. And I have made in my mind it's time to grow up. I'm in total control of my body. And I said, I'm not gonna throw up today. Way to go, buddy. And I'm gonna follow your example. What do you say, Sally? <sighs> I swear, I didn't want it to come to this, but it looks like I have no choice. <clears throat> Just what the... Ow. Hey, that's cheating. Randall, I'm the devil. I always cheat. Oh, I see. So, what's next again? Oh, that's right. Randall, can you go check on him? I don't want him ruining another pair of my shoes. Oh, I guess you just can't change fate. Okay. Oh. I left my swimsuit at home, so aim away from me if you're gonna start puking again. Well, at least you don't throw up lying on your back anymore. Well, <laughs> I'm a grown up now. Dude, I can't remember what we used to call that one. Can you believe it? John Carpenter's The Thing? You're not even close. Ah, dude, damn. What was it? Vesuvius, Matt. Oh, that's it. I knew that.
Dude, this is not how this was supposed to end. Really? Well, you know me, puking in this alley is like tradition. I know, but it, it, it had to be different tonight. Man, don't worry about it. A human being can't change lifelong habits just like that. I heard it on TV just the other day. Well, just for the sake of mankind, I hope to Christ that's not true. Man, what's gotten into Sally? Did you give her the engagement ring? Oh, damn it, the ring! Man, what would I do without you? I love you. How did you know I had a ring for her? Well, um, you know, this is a wedding shower, so I just assumed. Yeah, true. Hey, you're not gonna believe how I got this ring. Well, I can go on. I'll try and act surprised. <laughs> okay, come here, bro. <laughs> oh, stop right there. Don't make me puke, too. Yeah? Yeah, I know how you roll. One, no hugs. Two, no sharing. Three, no talking to strangers. Ah, damn it. Everything's turning out exactly like the last time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Vesuvius Matt is up and about again. Follow me, Randall, and don't lose me, cause this night's gonna be legendary! Hey! Just wait a second, buddy. Th th this is yours, isn't it? Prisoner stabbed, corpse found in dumpster. Tuesday, yes, finally. Man, you certainly took your time, you son of a bitch. Hey, good morning, Matt. I see you found the cereal, huh? You know, I'm glad you got your appetite back. Yesterday, you hardly touched a thing at all. I was starting to run out of ideas on how to get you to eat something. Yes? Hey, did you fix the TV? Yeah, well, all I had to do was get a couple of batteries and reconnect some bar wires. Classic. By the way, <clears throat> do you know anything about your roommate? Well, do you think he'd mind if I stayed in his room for a couple of days? I don't think he'll mind. Last time I saw him, he was in jail. Wow. What did he do? Honestly, I don't know, and I couldn't care less. So, um, how are you? I mean, after what happened to Sally and all. Well, I guess I'm doing okay. Extra sugary cereal helps, you know. Sure. And, well, it's been two days since she sacrificed herself, and all I've been doing since then is popping Vicodin. I'm really sorry, man. Fuck, man. I really wanted to marry her. I know, buddy. And she really wanted to marry you, too. Then why did she disintegrate herself? I don't think she did it on purpose. You know, technically spontaneous combustion is an involuntary act. At least that's what people say. What people? Doctor Who? I know it sounds weird, but those forensic investigators are pretty good. I know. I just can't get used to the idea I'm gonna miss her so much. Me too. And you know what? Fuck it. We have enough beer and chips to survive for at least a couple of days. Let's not move our asses off this couch for a while. Don't you have work? If I go to work today, I'm gonna get fired anyway. So, uh, how about the Sopranos Marathon, huh? You know me, man. As long as there's beer. Yeah, I do know you, but, uh, you've taken a lot of pills today. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I've been mixing beer with Downer since Sunday, and I feel great. Are you sure? Well... Now that you mention it, maybe I'm just a little confused, but your roommate's room looks like it's from a horror game. Besides, I think last night I saw the wing of this hairy fat guy statue moving. Am I nuts or what? Relax, you're not going nuts. Whew, well, that's a relief, I gotta say. By the way, 
What did you do with the ring? I left it over there somewhere. Just take care of it for me, okay? I don't want to ever see that thing again. Okay, let's find a place where we don't ever have to see it again. I wish I could change what happened. Although I don't exactly know what happened. Ah, uh, just drop it, Matt. There's nothing we can do about it. If there's anything we learned from Marty McFly, it's that altering the past only brings trouble. You bet. Nothing happens out of coincidence. Everybody is part of a grand plan. And most of the time, following that plan only leads to misery and misfortune, suffering and fatalities. Does that mean we'll never be ready to make the right choices? It's over. Oh, this has been a long time coming. Oh. Wait a second. Is that it? Is this the ending? I don't believe this. Well, believe it. They're all in the credits. But what kind of ending is that? They killed a girl and then they all live happily ever after? Well, they're not that happy. Excuse me, but one of them just started dancing. And what about the pigeon? Since when do pigeons steal jewels? Whatever. I liked it. That only goes to show that you have terrible taste. <laughs> Even famine agrees. Oh, come on. You only understand him when it suits your interests. And what about that Sergeant Kramer? Wasn't he the nemesis? Why did they just leave him out at the end part? That's obvious to be able to kill the girl. She was evil right from the start. No way, that ring seduced her. But that seems a bit of a round do for someone who wasn't really evil. A dramatic plot twist, so what? Dramatic plot twist? I thought this was a comedy. You know, there's something fishy about all this. Pestilence, did someone slip you a bribe or something? <laughs> Oh, come on! What are you saying? That's just crazy! So, on another note, what's for dinner today? Like I was saying, it's over. <coughs> this game took considerably longer to get completed than I thought. Oh, what can I say about it? The voice acting's great. The animations are solid. The puzzles are frustrating and obtuse. And the end has very little interaction. Ah. Uh, like, normally I come off these games and I'm like, this positive, this positive. But I think because of how long I've been trying to actually finish this game, it has spoil my impression of it I mean the number of times I had to kill kittens to get the next hint because some of these ideas that they had for puzzles and solving them ouch this playthrough would have been a heck of a lot longer if I hadn't done that I think some of the soundtrack is going to be burnt into my memory for the rest of my life. But yeah, it was funny. I liked the geek references and there are many. It did make me chuckle a couple of points. But oh, it's to me, it overstayed its welcome. Um, but like I say, I think that's purely down to the fact that I've had a huge intermission in the middle of this playthrough and maybe I just wasn't able to embrace the rest of it as it came on, as the game progressed. 
but the puzzles oh the puzzles would drive me up the wall if i actually had to work out the legitimate way of doing it i mean the one clover versus four leaf clover that's just like being annoying for being annoying sake and the fact that with that field thing i did it correctly with the guide in the game first time round, but it looks like you could have failed it several times trying to do it like the bird coming down and robbing away what's been grown and so forth oh that repetition could would have driven someone nuts the the idea that i definitely think was a good idea was they put that hint system in it and yeah to keep it from drying up because i would have been rubbing things against other things i'm glad i decided just to bite the bullet and go okay we're gonna get this game done it ain't gonna be pretty <sighs> as for the story um again it's been played over a very long period of time for me with a big gap in the middle but yeah, I do kind of like the story. Um, and with the references, yeah. But the detraction is always going to be the puzzles, which is a shame. I mean, perhaps the point of the puzzles was there's deliberately doing a riff on the Monkey Island idea. <sighs> I didn't really have to look up any of the Monkey Island stuff to be able to beat it. Um, so, yeah, there is that side of it. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit of a mixed bag with me. Um, I mean, feel free to... Well, if you're actually watching this, you probably no point in playing the game because you kind of seen all that it was. Like, there was dialogue options at the end of the game and I just didn't want to click on the optional stuff because it would just drag it out for so much longer. Uh, I don't know, perhaps my entire eagerness to get this over and done with so I can move on to another game spoil the game for me maybe but yes um, I'm already having thoughts in regards to what I'm going to be doing next because I also finished all the Outer Worlds DLCs recently so I gotta come up with two games um, I think I have ideas for what those possible games could be and you should sort of see them appear soon well sooner rather than later on that note i will say thanks for watching till next time have a good one